Well, let's warn you that our next report contains scenes with flash photography. As politicians get ready for the campaign season, the Christian Association of Nigeria has advised candidates to base their campaigns on issues and not play up divisive tendencies ahead of the 2023 general election. Its national president, Reverend Daniel Oko, stated this at a reception in his honor in Lagos. Senior correspondent Ivy Kano has details. It's a gathering of different church leaders who are members of Christian Association of Nigeria and top dignitaries. Prayers were offered for the country, the unity of the body of Christ, and the coming general election. You alone can choose a leader that will unite this nation. Addressing the gathering, the national president said his tenure will be that of unification and also one that will put the interest of the country first. We must find a way to engage the people of other religions. Because we, I, I always say it, I said it uh, in my acceptance speech, that we all live in this entity called Nigeria. We don't have a choice other than to find ways to live together. We have fought our battles in the past. We have not been able, you know, in the past we were not able to look at the beauty of our diversities. But now we are seeing that we actually have an advantage when we try as much as possible to harness the benefits of our diversities for us to be able to build a very strong country. My responsibility as the leader of all Christians in Nigeria is not to say things that will divide us. I will not do that. If that is the reason people think that I'm here, then they're making a mistake. I should act with a sense of responsibility. Speaking on the 2023 general election and campaign, he advised politicians not to divide the country, but run issue-based campaign. Nigerians are not asking for too much. And so anyone who is vying for any political position must be able to convince Nigerians that you will ensure that we have these basics, you know, security and basic infrastructure, give us good roads. And Nigerians are very hardworking people. Nigerians will be able to, um, to work hard and find food for themselves. You know, uh, we have people who are really farmers, but they are asking for security so that they can go back to their farms. The reception was organized by the Organization of African Instituted Churches. Ivy Kano, CBC News, Lagos.